Welcome back guys. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be doing a video about NEO. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys. Let's go on our invest journey together. So today we're going to be doing a video about NEO. Where do I see NEO stock headed in the next year? And do I think right now NEO is a very good buy at $18.70? I just want everybody to know that everything I say in my videos is not financial advice. It is just my personal opinion and for educational purposes only. So with that being said, let's get started with the video. So today we're going to be talking about NEO currently up 6.40%. Looking at the one week chart up 28.84% and the one month chart we're actually up 13.10%. Three month chart we're still down about 13%. So hopefully we can cover that ground within the next couple of weeks. So NEO has definitely seen a lot more momentum over the last couple of weeks we do know that neo actually did have a pretty good dip here all the way down to about twelve dollars 71 cents i think it went at low as low as eleven dollars and 57 cents at one point and you know a lot of people definitely have gotten worried about neo in itself you know a lot of people who are invested in the stock were you know kind of just giving up hope that like neo stock is eventually you know, just going to keep going down. You know, there was delisting fears running around, you know, there's Russia, Ukraine war and so many external factors that are, are basically affecting the stock price in the short term. But I still do think that Neo stock is going to make a lot of people rich. I do think that this company is going to continue to grow. And I do think that this company is going to continue putting up great numbers. So there's been a lot of actually pretty good news for Neo over the last week or two. That's kind of driven the stock price a little bit more upward. Just yesterday, we actually got their deliveries for May and they were a lot better than expected. So we do know that in the month of April, you know, that was probably the lowest I've seen Neo's deliveries was around 5,000 cars. So obviously it wasn't good. It made the stock sell off. A lot of people kind of weren't optimistic. Kind of looking into May's numbers a little bit, people were kind of saying the same thing that, oh my God, like, you know, Neo's numbers are going to be very low. But surprisingly enough, Neo actually delivered 7,024 vehicles, which is just absolutely amazing. It's definitely a lot better than expected. And a lot of people are kind of sitting there, you know, like, why would I be happy about 7,000 vehicles? It goes to show that even with the lockdown that was going on in China and the fact that, you know, Neo had so many constraints, it was still able to push up 7,000 cars, which is a 4.8% increase year over year. And also a decent increase from last month's delivery numbers as well. So what this not only does it goes to show that how optimistic I am looking into the future, expecting June and July and August deliveries to continue to increase and continue to do well. We do know that finally China has kind of backed down on the lockdowns a little bit. So this is definitely going to be very good for Neo in the short and the long term that they're now able to finally fulfill their basically their production capacity. You know, they're able to produce cars with nothing really getting in the way. Slowly but surely, surely macroeconomic factors are getting better. So what do we expect Neo stock to basically do in the next couple of weeks? Well, like I said, we had an analyst come out and say that Neo is poised for a run up over the next 15 days and Neo is in this bullish channel. So I do expect the uptrend to hopefully continue as long as there's no bad news that's going to externally affect the stock. I still do think that the US and China are going to come to terms with an audit deal and that's honestly going to make Neo stock fly. But kind of things to be looking out for is we have Neo's earnings report coming out on the 9th of June. And I think a lot of people are definitely waiting for that. A lot of people are definitely going to see, you know, where Neo's earnings report is definitely going to show the future of the company, where it's going to go. For me personally, I don't think Neo is going to put up great numbers. That's just my personal opinion on it. And I want to be 100% completely realistic. I'm not a pumper for the stock or anything like that. I honestly don't think Neo is going to have a good earnings report, but I'm not really caring about their earnings report more than I am looking for their overall guidance with the company. I do know that Neo does have a lot of good things coming out this year. Like I said, we're getting their SUV here in a couple of weeks, the ECA SUV. So that's only going to help increase its overall sales. We do know that they're still in the manufacturing of Neo Park. So that's definitely going to basically help their manufacturing capacity increase by a ton. And we also have the ET5 sedan coming out later this year as well. So Neo does have a lot of huge catalysts. We do need to see these kind of come into play for Neo stock to kind of tread higher. 
as market conditions are slowly getting better, inflation is slowly going down. I do expect a run to NEO within the next couple of months. So what's my overall price prediction for NEO by the end of this year? And what's my overall price prediction for NEO stock kind of going into the next year? Well, kind of looking at it from a bigger perspective, I do expect NEO hopefully to, by the end of this year, be somewhere in the 40s. Um, I do think that NEO can hit 40 to $50 by the end of this year, as long as market sentiment continues to improve. And Neo puts up better, you know, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four numbers. I do expect more of an uptick. We do know that this stock has been completely oversold. It's, in my opinion, it's completely undervalued for how fast Neo is growing. Its expansion plans have not stopped, and Neo honestly does have a lot of good things coming for it. But one year from today, if I'm going year over year, I do expect Neo stock to kind of be trading in the $50 and $60 range by this time next year. So that obviously implies over a 200% growth in NEO stock. And I do absolutely think that NEO stock is going to do a very good job of actually getting there and actually hitting that as well. NEO continues to expand. NEO is continuing doing its thing. I know right now market sentiment is not the best. So this is definitely pushing NEO stock down in the short term, but I it definitely has not changed my overall bullish analysis on neo stock i do think neo stock can hit triple digits by 2024 that's my personal opinion on it like i said it's not financial advice or anything like that but the way that neo is growing the way it continues to expand china backing up neo and neo doing its absolute best and all the hard work that they're putting into the overall company it's ran by good leaders and there's also talks of neo expanding to the united states i know this has been in talks for a while now but if neo can somehow manage to get their cars over here into the united states and start manufacturing here then it's honestly a big game changer but for me personally to see the biggest momentum upward of neo stock we do need to see an audit deal finally reach between the united states and China, this could forever potentially get rid of delisting fears, which in my personal opinion is what holds a lot of Chinese stocks back is the constant FUD around delisting. Do I personally think Neo stock is going to get delisted? Absolutely not, but it's still a fear that lingers in the air. So I'm definitely excited to see where Neo stock does head in the next couple of months. But with that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. You guys let me know down in the comments below, guys, what you think of Neo stock. Do you guys think Neo stock is a good buy at $18.70? If you guys have a Neo stock price prediction, Put it down in the comment section below. I'm very curious to know where you guys think Neo stock will be by the end of this year. But with that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.